During the interview, after each part, I will also analyze the speaking based on four parameters. Fluency and coherence, lexical resources, pronunciation, grammatical range and accuracy, so that you can also succeed in your IELTS speaking module. Hi all, this is Manisha Narang and welcome back to Leverage IELTS brought to you by Leverage Edu, your trusted study abroad expert. Let's now start with the interview. I'm recording this session for scoring purposes. What is your full name? My name is Upasna Verma. Okay, Upasna. Where do you live? I live in Andheri, Mumbai in a sun-facing apartment and I have been residing there since 2018. Is Mumbai your hometown? Actually, I belong to Kerala. It's a small, lovely town on the outskirts of the capital city. But for now, I am living in Mumbai, away from my family for a few years now. What kind of jobs do people in your hometown usually do? That would be tough to answer because the type of jobs people do in our town vary to a great extent. However, construction engineers, IT professionals and salesperson dominate the list, I believe. Many of them have small online businesses and a few rich investors control hotel chains in our area. Would you say it's a good place to live and would you like to go there again and reside? Yes, indeed. A great neighborhood where people are friendly and the environment is calm, where you have all the conveniences, is always preferred as a living location. Finally, job opportunities in our area is another reason people often move to our town. And if you ask, I was really happy living there. But I guess my goals won't align with my hometown now. The candidate you heard spoke fluently and developed the topic appropriately. Also, we witnessed rare repetition. This makes it stand out on fluency and coherence parameter. Moreover, use of discourse markers, well, actually, if you ask, reflect the comfort she holds with the language. And use of strong sentence structures, balance of both simple and complex sentences along with error-free structures make it a standout response. All right, Upasna, you must now aim to speak for one to two minutes. Well, I love exploring new places and trying different cuisines. And lately, I have recently visited Modern Cafe in Andheri. It is about two kilometers from my apartment, so getting there is hardly an issue. Last week, a friend of mine came from Kerala to attend a job interview. This was his first trip to Mumbai and he wanted to delve into the local cuisine. So I wanted him to try Italian, so I decided to take him to the restaurant. Obviously, Modern Cafe was my first choice. It is my favorite restaurant and I go there often. The best thing about Modern Cafe is that it is one of the best vegetarian restaurants in Andheri. They serve North Indian foods, but they specialize in Italian dishes. I absolutely love the quiet ambience there. Also, their staff is very polite. They will go over and above to make their customers happy and comfortable. We ordered this pizza. This was the first time my friend had eaten a pizza. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. He loved it. So did I. He even expressed a desire to eat in the restaurant again. He has passed his interview and is all set to leave for Bangalore. Before he leaves, I'm planning to take him again to Modern Cafe. One key point is not having an abrupt start. One should always have a backdrop or an initiator to open the talk as she did. This keeps it a bit more organized. Uh -huh. Also, this is strong enough on the vocabulary part. Check these frames that she used. Is all set to leave for Bangalore? Go over and above. This is a casual expression. Had tried this dish and wanted to taste the local food or wanted to explore the local cuisine? The stress pattern, use of hardly, specialize, absolutely and the stress on these words enhance the part in pronunciation. Are there any good restaurants in your area? Oh yeah, there are several good restaurants in my area and I must tell you about this one which people in the city are going crazy about. 
the La Ball Cafe. The interiors have allured almost all the bloggers and influencers who have made this a popular spot. What kind of food do they usually serve? As I live in Andheri, there are both vegetarian and non-vegetarian restaurants here, but I feel that finding a vegetarian restaurant is easier. There are quite a few of them here and they serve both South Indian and North Indian dishes and Italian, which I really love. Opasna, do you think restaurant food is healthy? And if yes, why? I like restaurant food just like any other person in the world, but I don't think it's very healthy. Anyway, I eat out only when I don't have time to cook proper meal at home. Moreover, restaurants add a lot of additives and preservatives to enhance the taste and flavor of the food. In my opinion, they are bad for your health, no matter how tasty the food is. In your opinion, what makes a restaurant popular? Why? I feel that it is the quality and taste of the food which allures people to visit over and over. Not just this, but there are other factors that influence the popularity of a restaurant, which includes restaurants that serve delicious foods and should not skip the mention of the staff that also needs to be polite. The locality is important too. People should be able to access the restaurant easily. For instance, I visited a local restaurant last week with my parents and the attendant were so humble and generous, they escorted my grandmother and provided her with a comfortable seat. The candidate has answered the questions well. She elaborated the responses with the examples to back her point. Also, the sentence structures can't be just short and simple. To score well in the grammatical range and accuracy part, there has to be a balance of simple and complex sentences, which is exactly what she has done with the use of but, and, who, not just this. Moreover, use of connectors, words like additionally, moreover, for instance, nevertheless, and discourse markers, well, I mean, so, anyway, ensures and reflects how comfortable she is with the language. Also, she is effortless to understand and does not mumble words. Going crazy about, allured, provided with such collocations and idiomatic expressions used with accuracy give her an edge. This was all about the speaking module. I'll come back with more interviews so you can see what you should do and what you should not do. Stay tuned for more content and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to make sure you are notified of all the upcoming videos.